Okay, so I'm going to do a quick video showing you how to recess hinges into a door, and it's obviously the same then into your door frame. So I'm hanging a set of double doors at the minute back at my mum and dad's house, um, and because the doors are only 35, 34 mil thick, they'll be using a three inch butt hinge. If the doors were 44 mil thick, we'd use a four inch butt hinge. Okay, so this, these are like your better quality of hinges because they've got a ball bearing inside. They work on bearings, they work a lot smoother, they're better for these heavier doors. Okay, so what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you how I mark them out uh, and how I chop them out as well. So the positions that your hinges go on your door, okay, six inches down from the top and then nine inches from the bottom. Okay, if you've got a heavy door like this, then you want the third hinge going in the middle. Okay, and that just goes throughout the middle of the door. Okay, so there's a few different ways of marking and chopping them out. And I mean, different joiners and different carpenters do them in different ways. Okay, so there's no right or wrong way as long as the finished product is right. So I'm going to show you a couple. The first one, the, the best tool I use, I've got this tool, which Veritas make. And it's just like a square which slides in and out. Um, the good thing about this is it, it's exactly the same um, width as a hinge perfect so when I put it on the door all I've got to do is set it to the depth however far I want it going in the door and then I can mark around it so what you should do um, your hinges should be positioned on your door like this and then um, this edge here should go to the edge of the door okay you'll notice that when you look at a three inch hinge uh, most four inch hinges are the same as well that you've got two leaves okay the one leaf will only have two little connections, the other one will have four, uh, three, sorry. The one which has three, that goes on the frame. The one with the less amount goes on the door. Okay, and you can tell because it has these little gaps running through. Okay, so what we do, we position that in place. We know that's where we want it. I've measured six inches down, squared it. All I've done is set me square, okay, to the edge of that, that leaf. Perfect. And then all I do, is I use a knife, I position this in place, just like that, let me tighten up my door. Jeez, it doesn't wobble about as much. And all I do then, is I mark around my square. With a Stanley knife, good thing about the Stanley knife is that you mark it with that and then that gives you like a nice little clean cut line. Some people just mark them with pencils and then um, they just use the chisel to chop to the pencil line, which is fine, but I think this way is a bit neater. Okay, and that's the hinge mark. Okay, the other way of doing it that you can do, come over this way. Okay, what I've done is I've marked out the position nine inches up okay and i've actually screwed the hinge in position where i want it okay and then that all i've got to do is do the same again is mark around the hinge with my knife and that's going to give me a nice clean edge to chop to just like that so if we head back down this way okay we're going to use a 25 mil chisel okay and then all we do, we hold the chisel at a slight sort of 45 degree angle roughly and we just chop it. Take it a little bit out at a time. most of that and then all we do then is we use the chisel just to flatten that surface off now you can mark the depth of the hinge on this edge of the door so you know how far to, to chop it but once you've done quite a few hinges you get to know um, how hard to hit the hammer and how much needs taken out to get it nice and flush
Okay, so once you think you're at the position you want to be at, then all you need to do is get your, get your hinge back out, and then we sit it in place. So what you think. Now that to me looks pretty good, it feels flush. This edge here isn't quite flush though, so I'm just going to take a little bit more out. And the trick when chiselling is to slice, always slice, don't push. When you slice it, it creates a nice, uh, a lot neater kind of finish. And that's it. And that's how you recess a hinge. So the next stage then, you should always pilot it. Pilot your holes first and screw them in place. I'm going to film that. And then that is your finished hinge.